Let's now have a look at probability using a number line. So let's draw a number line to start off with. Here's my line and I'm going to put 0 at the start of my number line and 1 at the end. Okay. Uh, 1 if you write as a fraction is 1 over 1 which is equivalent to a whole. Now you can use a number line to explain probability. If something is one or absolute, that means it is certain to happen, it has a probability of one, okay? If something is unlikely to happen, it's never, it's impossible, I should say, it's actually impossible to happen, is a probability of zero. If we look at a number line halfway, so I put a line there and I say this is halfway of my number line. A way to describe probability as a half would, I could also write that as a fraction, as 50 over 100 because 50 is half of 100. I could also write that as a percentage. Percentage is a symbol you may have seen but not understand what it actually means. Percentage means out of 100. Now look at this. 50 out of 100, I can write as 50 out of 100. It means percent. Percent means out of 100. Okay. So if I go to over here, I've got my one whole, which is 1 over 1. I can also write that as 100 over 100, which means a whole. That whole is also written as 100 percent. How do you think I might write this zero over here? Well this is zero out of one. It could also be zero out of 100 which can also be written as zero percent. Zero out of a hundred. I might just change colors and make it a little thinner. Okay. Let's add some more on now. Say if I put a line here and here. How many sections have I split my line up into? Well, I have one, two, three, four sections. So I've split it into quarters. And this here is one quarter. Have a look over here. I've split it up into one, two, three, four parts. And this is one, two, three. So I can write this as three quarters. Let's have a go at writing those as a percentage. Okay, so one quarter. What is a hundred divided by four? Well, if you've got 25 plus 25 is 50, plus 25 is 70, plus 25 is 100. So one quarter is equivalent or equal to 25 over 100, 25 out of 100. Now if I've just told you that the symbol percent means out of 100, how do you think we might write 25 over 100 as a percentage? It would be 25%, which is the same as writing 25 out of 100. Let's have a look at the three quarters now. So from here to here is 25, plus 25 is 50, 50 out of 100. Here must be 75 out of 100. How might we write 75 out of 100 as a percentage? I hope you said 75%. Let's change colours again. Okay, so now we have a number line. So you can see here we have zero. There is, it is impossible that an event occurs. Over here, it is 100%. It is absolutely certain to occur. In the middle here, it is a half chance. Another way to say a half chance would be 50, 50, 50% or a half chance. Here, three quarters or 75 over 100. It is likely or more than likely to occur. It is not certain as it is for 100%, but it is likely. A quarter over here or 25% 
It's close to the impossible. It's actually halfway between the impossible and 50-50. So we could probably say these events here are unlikely, unlikely to occur.